what seems to be this final stand now at the Azovstal steelworks. Um, you can only imagine how terrifying it must be for the civilians still trapped there. Um, they've been sheltering there for weeks now. Uh, but also for those brave, well, for those Ukrainian defenders who have bravely been holding out, they have had multiple chances being given to them by the Russian Ministry of Defence. The Russians have offered these so-called ceasefires, saying that they could come out of the steelworks, but there is no trust on either side. The Ukrainians have refused to give up their positions. They know full well that they could well die down there in these steelworks. Um, the ability to resupply them with weapons, with ammunition, with, of course, food and water is incredibly limited. President Putin said to his forces he wanted to bestow siege those steelworks so that not even a fly could get out. And that was two weeks ago now. So you can only imagine the conditions. And yet they're still fighting. They haven't yet allowed Russian forces to push them out of those steelworks. And while that remains, for Russia, it means they have to keep concentrating firepower and manpower on those steelworks. And they cannot declare a full capture of the city of Mariupol, which has been a strategic aim since the beginning of this war.